Neuroscience has identified toxic shame as a measurable brain condition that creates persistent feelings of being fundamentally flawed, worthless, or wrong as a person, which is completely different from healthy guilt about specific behaviors. According to research on shame versus guilt, toxic shame activates brain regions associated with self-attack and social pain, while shutting down networks responsible for self-compassion and problem-solving. Scientists discovered that toxic shame develops when children experience chronic criticism, emotional abuse, or neglect that teaches them their core self is unacceptable, rather than learning that specific behaviors need correction. The research reveals that shame creates measurable changes in brain structure, including enlarged amygdalas that create hypervigilance about social threats and weakened prefrontal cortex connections that impair your ability to think rationally about your worth and capabilities. Neuroscientists found that toxic shame is often disguised as other emotions like anger, perfectionism, or people-pleasing, because the core feeling of being fundamentally flawed is too painful for conscious awareness, leading to compulsive behaviors designed to prove your worth or hide your perceived defects. Studies show that shame-based people often become overachievers, perfectionists, or people-pleasers in desperate attempts to earn value and acceptance. But these strategies never heal the underlying belief that you are inherently wrong or bad. The shocking discovery is that toxic shame is not motivating or helpful. It actually impairs performance, creativity, and relationships because shame-based thinking prevents you from learning from mistakes or taking healthy risks that require self-compassion and resilience. Research shows that healing toxic shame requires developing self-compassion neural pathways while challenging the core beliefs about your worth that were programmed during early experiences of criticism or rejection. Follow for more shame recovery science, comment if you feel fundamentally flawed, and share with someone learning that their core self is worthy of love.